is just crazy. They are just about here. We can hear them in the background. Yeah, they're going to be coming in from the left. They're out there making their turn. Still, they're kind of still kind of loose formation. When they get uh, turned around here, they're going to come in from the left. They're going to drop into line abreast. And yet yesterday in the the gold race, uh, Chris Lefebvre got uh, he, he got pulled pretty good. Well, he was saying they didn't have a pace plane. So the lead, the number one airplane, was the pace plane. He said he was wide open, and he couldn't keep up oh. with them coming down the chute. That's, that's so why you don't have the pace plane. Maybe somebody plane, in the middle would be better for a that A pace job. plane is good because it will slow them down a little bit and bring them down. Even Okay, see the smoke on from our pace plane? Okay, the pace plane, pace plane is going to say, gentlemen, you have a race. He's going to pull up out of the formation and go to overhead to a kind of a safety pilot over the top. Mm -hmm. Right back, 27. Okay, he's lining him up now. He told 27 to back up. A little, bit. A little forward. 27's missed TNT. Brought somebody forward. Trying to get him lined up to be as even as possible and as fair of a start as possible. But look at him, line abreast right now. Now that means you're ahead. You okay, he's going to pull up. Now it's all racers, all about racing. Okay, now they've got to keep one eye on the guy next to him because you don't want to cut a front. You've got to hold your line. Well, there's no guide pylon out there. They're, they're using the guide pylon over here, down here by, pi by turn number one. They're going to be coming from left to right. Here they come. Watch how evenly matched they are as they come through in front of us. All within 10 miles per hour of each other. Look how evenly matched they are. They've been drag racing for a quarter mile, and there's still one line. Nothing but wings, fuselages, and propellers as they hit turn one. Look at that. Beautiful stuff right there. <laughs> Miss TNT, Eric Wobling, Wobling on the inside there. He's got that inside line in the shorter course. So he's staying down low. Do you know, but watch for the passing going on. Okay, we have the P-70, it's our F-18 pilot. Looks like he was trying to make a move in the first lap there. I can't see any numbers from here, but... Uh, I know for sure our first plane is Miss TNT. The red airplane is going to be number five. Uh, so in third place is uh, William Walker, race number five, Big Red. But it looks like uh, one of the McNeely's is in second and one of them's in fourth, getting ready to make a move on race number five if Big Red's not careful. Yeah, that's Greg McNeely in race 90, moving up on Big Red there, trying to get the outside and above. And They've right got to make their take move over. quick because if they don't make their move quick, they're so evenly matched, they won't be able to reel them back in. So that's why these first couple laps are critical on the T6s. Miss TNT in first place. Again, that's Eric Van Fossen's old airplane, now followed by Eric Woldling. Gene McNeely in second place. Holding in there in place, second. William Walker, race number five, Big Red. Looks like Greg McNeely still right on his outer wingtip, flying formation with him in fourth place. P-70 is our uh, F FA-18 pilot, the orange and white airplane in uh, fifth place. And our two-year, our second-year pilot, Vitaly Pachersky, flying Abracadabra out of Los Angeles, California, the gray and yellow airplane in the back. The Big Red still in third place. Look at the, okay, now we've got Greg McNeely really trying to put a move on uh, Big Red, race number five. Tried to get by him in lap number one and fell just a little bit short, but you know he's going to keep trying. Well, he's sure getting, he's, sure, he's got the position. He's really, look how tight they are. You throw a blanket over both of them. Eric Wolving in front place, Gene McNeely second place, uh, William Walker third, Greg McNeely fourth, P. Savaridis in uh, ninth, going back to our lead plane. The distinct orange and uh, gray airplane it used to be Eddie Van Fossen out here for so many years. That was a plane to beat. That was a seven-time T6 champion airplane. He's on a championship line right now, Eric Wolving, Miss TNT, race 27 still. Trying to put a little distance between himself and Gene McNeely, race 89. Race is still for third place. We've got Greg McNeely just camped out on Big Five or Big Red's uh, wingtip. That's race number five, William Walker. Those two airplanes qualified within a one hundredth of a second of each other. So, oh, excuse me, a tenth of a second of each other. That's still pretty close. On the back side of the course now. Look how tight. Uh, look at the race for third place. There they are. 
difference between third and fourth right there is about one airplane between them is all, all you could fit between them. Greg McNeely's shoving the nose down on race 90. That's the Honda Generators, Honda Generator sponsored T6. All right, Greg McNeely going up, trying to appear to make that move. Possibly gain some feet speed, find some somewhere in these evenly matched airplanes. Well, even if he can't get around and he wants to be as close as he can so he can try and slingshot that finish when they get to lap five and dive down on that steel star finish pylon. Again, the race still seems to be for, for third place. The Greg appears to have taken him, but watch when they roll into this turn. Watch how uh, Big Red, that race number five, is going to slide forward again because he's got the shorter course. Absolutely neck and neck at this point, but, uh, but William Eric, Walker with the advantage in the turns for sure. Every lap, Greg McNeely, if he can sneak up a little bit more, every lap he has a better chance of out drag racing him. Right about now, they're going to drop the noses on the back straight. Again, uh, Big Red, race number five, has the shorter course, and he has advantage. But now Greg McNeely's got a little bit of altitude. He's going to try and trade that altitude for airspeed. If he can make the pass, again, he's going to need about 12 miles an hour over, uh, over William Walker. I don't think he's got it. But keep in mind, too, with all this pressure on Greg Walker, he's got to watch the pylon on the left and Greg McNeely on, Greg McNeely on the right. So, right. again, there's a lot of pressure to hold that line and not screw up or hurt yourself. I mean, you can't, you know, you can't beat yourself on this one. Also, he knows if, uh, if Greg can hold that position there, those two are in for a sprint in the, yes, final, they are. the final but segment the, of this the race, dive, too. The dive to the final pylon to the start-finish line to steal there is going to be great. Okay, again, the race continues to be for third place. Out front, we've got Eric Eric Wobling still holding the lead out front. He's actually got a pretty good lead on uh, Gene McNeely right now. Gene McNeely flying Baby Boomer. Did the aerobatic routine earlier, the 80th anniversary of the T6 Texan. So again, that is our leader, Eric Wobling, and Miss TNT out front. Second place, Gene McNeely from Port Orange, Florida, flying Baby Boomer. Miss TNT race 27 was able to win yesterday's race in this class. And that airplane's used to leading. It's had seven World Air Race Championships in the T6 class out here over the years. Okay, what a tie. We still have a tight race back here in third place. We still have uh, Greg McNeely trying to get by uh, race number five, Big Red. Great shot of our leader right there. See the VF on the, the right wing? It stands for Van Fossen. That was Eddie Van Fossen's race plane all the years. Okay. Our checkered flag is out, Tommy, so they're diving for the finish line. Our unofficial winner right now looks to be Eric Wolfling in Miss TNT. Gene McNeely and Baby Boomer, but look at the race. Here's the uh, race for this third William place. Walker. He's going to have to hold it out. Can, can he do it? Oh, oh, oh. I'll let you call that one, I'm Steve. I'm not going to call that oh, one, I'll tell you, I am not brave enough to call that one. <laughs> that was about as close to a photo finish. Well, that was a photo that finish. Was a that photo was as close finish. to a dead heat oh, as you yeah. can get. I told you it was going to be a drag race. There's another drag race to the finish, but that yeah, piece to uh, our F-18 pilot held off the corporate pilot, Vitaly Percheski. Uh, again, uh, Pete Savadidis from North Haven, Connecticut in Gotcha, the SNJ-5, uh, held on over Abracadabra, Vitaly Percheski out of Los Angeles, California, our corporate pilot.